Fear. It's a powerful emotion. It can paralyze us, prevent us from reaching our full potential. In our personal and professional lives, fear can be a silent saboteur. It whispers doubts, magnifies risks, and keeps us stuck in our comfort zones. We avoid risks, silence our voices, and settle for less than we deserve. Imagine the missed opportunities, the unrealized dreams, all because fear held us back. That promotion you deserved but didn't ask for because you were afraid of rejection? That trip you always wanted to take but didn't because you were afraid of the unknown? These are just a few examples of how fear can limit our lives. Fear can manifest in many ways. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. These fears, while seemingly different, share a common thread. They keep us from experiencing life to the fullest. But what if there was a way to break free, to face our fears head on and unlock our true potential? The good news is, there is, and it's simpler than you might think. Think about the last time you felt afraid. Your heart raced, your palms sweated, your breath quickened. Now think about a time you felt excited. Chances are, your body reacted in much the same way. This is because fear and excitement are two sides of the same physiological coin. When we encounter a stressful or uncertain situation, our bodies release adrenaline and other hormones. This triggers a cascade of physical responses designed to prepare us for action. The problem is, our brains often misinterpret these physical sensations as fear, even when the situation is not inherently dangerous. This physiological similarity between fear and excitement is crucial to understanding how we can overcome fear. By consciously reframing our perception of these physical sensations, we can transform fear into excitement. We can learn to see challenges not as threats, but as opportunities for growth and adventure. For example, imagine you're about to give a presentation. You feel your heart pounding, your palms sweating. Instead of interpreting this as fear, tell yourself, this is my body getting energized. I'm excited to share my ideas. This simple shift in perspective can make a world of difference. The key difference between fear and excitement lies not in our physical response, but in our mental interpretation of that response. It's about the story we tell ourselves. When we face a challenge, do we focus on the potential dangers and negative outcomes, or do we choose to see the opportunity, the growth, the thrill of the unknown? Think of it this way. You're on a roller coaster, climbing slowly uphill. Your heart is pounding, your stomach is churning. Are you terrified or are you exhilarated? The physical sensations are the same, but your perception of them determines your emotional experience. The good news is, we have the power to choose our narrative. We can choose to focus on the positive, to see challenges as opportunities, and to reframe our fear as excitement. This is not about denying our fear, but about changing our relationship with it. Instead of letting fear control us, we can acknowledge it, understand its message, and then choose a more empowering response. We can choose courage over comfort, action over inaction, and growth over stagnation. We've all heard the advice, just face your fears, think positive, don't worry, be happy. While well-intentioned, these platitudes often fall short. They fail to address the very real and powerful physical and emotional experience of fear. They don't give us the tools we need to actually change our behavior. Telling someone with a fear of public speaking to just be confident is like telling someone with a broken leg to just walk. It's not helpful, and it can even be harmful by making the person feel inadequate or ashamed of their struggle. We need more than just positive thinking. We need practical, actionable strategies that help us interrupt the fear response and shift our mindset. We need tools that work with, not against, our natural physiology. This is where the five second rule comes in. It's a simple yet powerful technique that allows us to take control of our thoughts and actions before fear has a chance to take hold. Section five, unmasking the five second rule, your secret weapon. The five second rule is deceptively straightforward. When you feel fear or hesitation, you have five seconds to take action before your brain talks you out of it. Count down from five, four, three, two, one, and then move. This technique works because it interrupts the fear response before it can gain momentum. By taking immediate action, we shift our focus from the perceived threat to the task at hand. Think of it like launching a rocket. The first few seconds are critical. There's a tremendous amount of energy required to break free from gravity's pull. But once the rocket clears the launch pad, it gains momentum and altitude. The same is true for overcoming fear. The hardest part is taking those first few steps. 
the five second countdown gives us the push we need to break free from inertia and launch ourselves into action. A section six, anchor thoughts, shifting from fear to exhilaration. The five second rule is most effective when combined with anchor thoughts. These are positive, empowering statements that we repeat to ourselves during the countdown. Anchor thoughts help reframe our fear, shifting our focus from what we're afraid of to what we're capable of. For example, if you're afraid of public speaking, your anchor thought might be, I am a powerful speaker and my message deserves to be heard. Repeat this phrase to yourself during your five second countdown and then take action. Step onto that stage and share your voice with the world. By combining the five second rule with anchor thoughts, we create a powerful one-two punch that knocks out fear and propels us forward. We interrupt the fear response and replace it with confidence, courage, and excitement. Remember, our thoughts influence our emotions and our emotions drive our actions. By controlling our thoughts, we can control our feelings and ultimately our destiny. Section seven, triumph over terror, real people, real victories. The five second rule and anchor thoughts aren't just theoretical concepts. They're tools that have helped countless people overcome their fears and achieve extraordinary things. Take Sarah, for example. She had a debilitating fear of flying that prevented her from pursuing her dream job overseas. Using the five second rule and the anchor thought, I am safe and in control, she gradually overcame her fear and eventually landed her dream job. Then there's John, who was terrified of public speaking. He used the five second rule and the anchor thought, I am confident and capable to deliver a presentation that earned him a promotion. These are just two examples of the countless individuals who have used these simple yet powerful techniques to transform their lives. Their stories serve as a testament to the fact that fear does not have to control us. We all have the power within us to break free from its grip and achieve our full potential. Section eight, the power within conquering fear, one thought at a time. Overcoming fear is not about becoming fearless. It's about recognizing that fear is a natural human emotion, but it doesn't have to dictate our choices or limit our potential. It's about understanding that we have the power to choose our thoughts and our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. Every time we choose courage over comfort, every time we face a challenge head on, every time we refuse to let fear hold us back, we strengthen our courage muscle. And over time, those small acts of courage add up to create a life of purpose, passion, and fulfillment. Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and more capable than you think. The only thing standing between you and the life of your dreams is fear. And fear is a liar. So take a deep breath, count down from five, and take that first step. You've got this. Section nine, breaking free from fear's grip, a continuous journey. Overcoming fear is not a one-time event. It's a continuous journey. There will be times when fear creeps back in, when doubts cloud our judgment, and when the temptation to retreat to our comfort zones is strong. But that's okay. It's all part of the process. The key is to remember the tools we've learned. When fear rears its ugly head, we can use the five second rule to interrupt the fear response. We can repeat our anchor thoughts to reframe our perspective and shift our focus from fear to possibility. And we can draw strength and inspiration from the countless others who have walked this path before us. Remember, every time we face our fears, we grow stronger and more resilient. We learn to trust ourselves, our capabilities, and the inherent goodness of life. We develop a deep and abiding faith in our ability to handle whatever challenges come our way. Section 10, you are braver than you believe. It's easy to look at others and think, they're so brave, I could never do that. But here's the secret. Those people weren't born fearless. They've experienced fear just like everyone else. The difference is, they've learned to dance with fear, to acknowledge it without letting it control them. You have that same capacity within you. You have the power to choose courage over comfort, to step outside of your comfort zone, and to live a life that is true to yourself. You have the power to be the hero of your own story. Don't let fear steal your dreams, your voice, or your joy. You are capable of amazing things. Believe in yourself, trust the process, and take that first step. Section 11. Embrace the thrill of the unknown. Life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. It's in the unknown, 
the untried, the unexplored where we discover our true potential. It's in those moments of uncertainty, when we're stretched beyond what we thought possible, that we experience the greatest growth and fulfillment. So embrace the thrill of the unknown. Say yes to new experiences. Challenge yourself to grow and expand. And when fear whispers its doubts, remind yourself that you are stronger than you think, braver than you believe, and capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. The world is waiting for you. Go out there and make it yours.